Okay, we've got a few things here. Uh, this is my SD card. It's got 8 gig of free space. I've got a UNet installer. We've got the Kali Linux ISO there. So I'm just going to open up UNet. You might get a security restriction here. If you do, let me know and I'll give you a little hack to get around it. And put your password in. Okay, so we're going to select disk image here and ISO, and then we're going to navigate to the Kali ISO. It automatically selects USB drive. If you've only got one USB stick plugged in, only one option is going to come up in here, and you're going to know it's definitely the right drive to install it to. If you've got two or three USBs plugged in, then it can be a bit confusing. then hit OK and off it will go. You might get an error at the end that says you can't load this on a Mac, but just ignore it because you totally can. You might not get prompted with this. This is because I've done it on this, on this card a few times. And it should take about five minutes or so.
Okay, so you can ignore this error here because it will definitely boot off a Mac. So that's all done. So if you reboot the Mac, then hold down the Option key, uh, the Alt key, when it's booting, you'll see EFI boot as a USB option. Hit Enter for that, and then you'll see a screen that asks you what you want to do with Kali. So choose Live System or Live Install from the top. That's it.